I just was trusting my stuff and letting the defense work behind me. Playing Kennesaw State in the regular season help you prepare for playing them again today? Yeah, I mean, I knew, I knew and we knew what we had coming. And I think just remembering what we did against them helped a lot. And I think we just stuck to our plan. Congratulations on the win. Talk a little bit about Gianna's performance in the game today. Sorry, can you say that again? You kind of cut out. I uh, said congratulations on the win. And if you would talk a little bit about what you saw from Gianna in the first game today. Yeah, Gianna threw a heck of a game. Um, she was really lights out. And I mean, we just have to play behind her and score some runs. You faced Kennesaw earlier this year. Did that help you in that, that you kind of were familiar with this team because you played them earlier in March and uh, here at home? Yeah, I think that helped us quite a bit. Um, I just knew that we had to stick to our plan and we knew it was coming. So we just stuck to our plan and got the job done. First NCAA tournament start under your belt for you. How does that feel to have that under your name now? Yeah, I mean, it feels good. I think it just, I tried to just not make it bigger than it really is and just play the game for what it is and play game by game and pitch by pitch. That's kind of been our motto for the, um, the regional. From your viewpoint today, what did you see from Florida State that makes them so challenging? I think they're a very good team. I think they're just going to put the ball in play and put pressure on the defense, but we just stick to our game and stay calm. All right, I want to go backwards here a little bit because we didn't get a chance to talk to you on Friday. Tell me about the double play in the seventh against Auburn there uh, with the game on the line there, up one, and uh, you, you and uh, Carissa and Jess turned that double play. From your vantage point, what did you see and how? Uh, just describe the play. Yeah, that was just such an awesome play. It came quick back at me, so it kind of took me a minute to realize, oh, yeah, I had to throw it. Um, so then just getting it to Carissa as fast as I can and letting them do the rest of the work. Going into the regional championship tomorrow, what did you see from FSU today that you feel like you can take advantage of tomorrow? I think really, we really just have to play our game and stick to what we know how to do and let us do the talking and show them what's coming. And I thought defensively and pitching wise, you know, we, we played a very solid day. Um, offensively, I would have liked to see us do some just execute more, uh, especially when we put ourselves in those positions. You know, we, we uh, <clears throat> quite honestly, were one swing away and one pitch away from completely changing game one today. Um, and then even, you know, I, I say that I would like to, us to execute better offensively, but, you know, don't count Kennesaw State out with that pitcher, man. She is so good. She's dominant. She, I think she's one of the, you know, she's, this this whole um, regional has great pitchers across the board. So, you know, us putting up those two runs and then you know putting pressure on Bennett, I I can't get too greedy. But as a coach, I always want those insurance runs. So I just want to see us again moving runners when we need to, and then putting good swings on good pitches when we have runners in scoring position. Congrats on the win and advancing. Uh, how do you think your regular season series with Kennesaw back in March helped pr helped you prepare for today? Uh, well, thank you, first off. Um, and I, I just gives us great confidence. You know, we knew we weren't overmatched by Bennett, as you may have um, were able to see from some of the other hitters in the regional. They hadn't seen her as much. Well, that's not true because they got to see her in their mini regional they played um, back in February. But uh, with those three teams. But I think it just allowed us to, to play with confidence, um, especially pitching and defense. You know, we, we matched up really well to their offense um, and they have a strong offense, but our pitchers just do a really good job of keeping off, keeping them off balance. So I felt really good about going into that game and especially with the fire that they brought back um, after game one, you know, they got a little break at the hotel and coaches stayed back and scouted. And when they came back, they were uh, pretty feisty, so. Coach, congratulations on the win here late. Uh, let's go back to game one. Florida State certainly uh, 
strong pitching, but your team had opportunities. So as you look back at that game, what would you like to have seen your hitters do differently against their pitchers? Yeah, you know, I think I said it in my interview, but I can't remember it was so long ago today, um, that we we battled to get to the pitch that we wanted. And then we just either didn't put the best, you know, the best quality swing on it, or we watched the next pitch go by that, you know, that we got work to. So um, I have to remember as a coach too, you know, this, this group is bringing back that postseason tradition and not, not very many of them have played in postseason, you know, maybe two or three on our team um, at their previous institutions. So that makes it pretty tough um, to be able to perform the way you want to uh, at the end of the year. But I know this team can do it. We practice it, we train it. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what their approach is gonna be tomorrow. I want to ask you about Caitlin, who's a, a really quietly a great story. You know, I've seen in her entire career in a lot of ways, uh, I've seen the highs and lows, just like the program has since she arrived at 2018. And here she is in the last month of her senior year in her career, contributing in a big way, both offensively and defensively. Just talk about her and her work ethic, waiting her turn and getting an opportunity and contributing to this team's success. Yeah, well, you know, it's just like you said, great teammates that train hard and compete and push their their other teammates to get better. Um, and then, you know, in the end, um, they come out on top as well. And so that's that's really what Caitlin's done. And she's had some, like you said, some highs um, in her career here. And um, she's just playing really solid defense for us. So um, I, I like how Jada and her are working over there. And um, if we do throw Jada behind the plate, I like how Kia and KJ uh, also work over there. So um, it just allows us to really open up our game and, you know, again, defend that that left side. And so our pitchers are are able to feel really confident in throwing to that side of the plate, uh, mixing speeds and just getting ground balls, kind of pitching to defense. Um, but it, it's it's helped our our lineup tremendously too, you know, just another power hitting righty um, that we we've talked about her defense and some of her at, her at bats, but gosh, she's had some really solid base running for us too. You know, she took an extra base, um, I believe in the conference tournament or even in uh, game one, um, everything's kind of going together. And then her first and third delay steal, um, I believe in Auburn maybe, uh, she just had such a, a tremendous um, running ability in, in that moment and was able to take the extra base when they were kind of not trying to get her out. So uh, <clears throat> it's great to have somebody with that that has her size and stature, but can move, can really move and has great range over there. So um, it's been key and clutch for us. What were some of the things you saw from FSU today that you feel like you can really turn into strengths tomorrow? Um, you know, again, I said when we worked ourselves to that that final pitch, I think they left the ball over the plate a little bit and we took it. And um, if we put our best swing on that pitch, um, like I said before, we're one swing and one pitch um, defensively away from just flipping that score. So, um, I, I, I truly believe that this group has the ability and the capability to bring our best game and make some competitive uh, softball come about tomorrow, so. From a pitching standpoint, Gianna did enough, right, to get the, the, the W in that first game. What's your strategy now? Uh, everybody's gonna be all hands on deck. Yeah, yeah, that's really what it's gonna be. And I think that, you know, our opponent's gonna do the same thing. Um, we, we both have good hitters. We both have seasoned hitters now, you know, going through this long season. And um, so just getting different looks and better, you know, better matchups in certain times is, is going to be important. So the three-headed monster is going to go to work tomorrow. Well, and you mentioned the three-headed monster. Gianna threw a great game, deserved the better fate. Brief looked good in relief, but then an Analia. Elimination game season on the line, throws a shutout. Third UCF pitcher ever to throw a shutout in the NCAA tournament, joining Allison Kime and Shelby Turner. You've been here long enough by now. You know what that means. You've thrown a shutout in a regional elimination game. So you can relate. You, what you see from Aaliyah and how proud of you, obviously, uh, as, as 
as clutch of a player as ever. Yeah, you know what? I'm um, I kind of pulled like the hard coach on her, so I I got on her and I said, I want better pitches out of you because I I think she could have closed the door a little bit quicker in that sixth and seventh inning. Um, and so like I told her, I'm going to keep getting the best out of you as long as I can. So, um, but again. If she's throwing a shutout and I still have something to, to go after her for, um, that just shows how, proves how darn good she is. Um, and I just love to be able to be a part of it. And it's a privilege to just have a hand and a, a, be able to coach her in these moments. Um, she's an amazing competitor and she's going to, you know, going to have another shot at it tomorrow. So I'm excited to see her continue to lead her team.